Engulfed in scandals and severely overcrowded, the Californian prison system has long been a target of human rights groups. The latest revelation showed nearly 150 female inmates were sterilized without any of the required state approvals. And as Marina Portnaya discovered, the conditions for the prisoners are borderline inhumane. America's Golden State, covered in sunshine, and populated by the nation's largest prison system. Some inmates convicted of serious crimes, but many are enduring inhumane incarceration. Thousands of California prisoners are being caged and isolated for years or decades in what U.S. officials prefer to call security housing units, or SHU. Kept in concrete, windowless 8 by 10 cells for nearly 23 hours a day. Their food is slipped through a door slot. One hour of recreation is often limited to pacing in handcuffs and shackles in another solitary area. Telephone calls and contact visits are generally prohibited. California prison officials claim it's not solitary confinement, but human rights officials bluntly equate the conditions to torture on U.S. soil. Any sort of human rights criteria that you apply to the conditions in California prisons regarding solitary confinement uh, violate the most basic of human rights standards. Keeping somebody in extreme isolation for more than 15 days is cruel and unusual. It's torture. As of last July, 3,600 California inmates are enduring this treatment. According to reports, 106 have spent 15 years living in cages, while 23 prisoners have remained locked in SHU for two and a half decades. Last year, nearly 30,000 prisoners staged a 60-day hunger strike, demanding reforms to the excessive use of isolation and also the creation of a path for inmates to be released from SHU conditions. While California has vowed to modify its solitary confinement rules, the U.S. seems stuck with the reputation of using intense detention both at home and abroad. Marina Portnaya, RT.